You're listening to today's inspirational message on the Proverbs with Kurt Bjorklund. So Proverbs 7 addresses the issue again of adultery, which if you're listening to these in uh, order, this is clearly a huge point of emphasis for Proverbs at this point. Just the sheer number of verses and chapters devoted to this topic tells you how important it is. And when we come to the second uh, kind of takeaway from uh, Proverbs 7, what we see in verses 6 and following is that the environments that we place ourselves in or we allow ourselves to be in really matter. Here's what it says, for at the windows, verse 6 and following, at the window of my house, I have looked out through the lattice and I have seen among the simple, again, this is that word that, that means somebody who's way too open, I have perceived among the youths a young man lacking sense, passing along the street near her corner, taking the road to her house in the twilight in the evening, at the time of night in darkness. And behold, a woman meets him dressed as a prostitute, wily of heart. And here's what, what, what the environment is. The, the naive, the simple, um, is really not aware of the power of environment. And what we see is that the person isn't really doing something that is sinful at this point, but they're doing something, he's doing something that is not smart. And the environments have at least three different elements here. First, I would say there's the place, which is just where it says passing along the street near her corner. And so the idea here is that he knows where this woman lives and he walks down the street near where she is, maybe innocently enough, but because there's a corner, he could probably go around, go a different way, but he passes by and he's drawn in. And and there are some places that if you want to avoid getting ensnared sexually, that it would be wise to avoid. So if you're vulnerable single, maybe when you're traveling, going to the bar, maybe going uh, down the street where there are people who are selling themselves, maybe getting online uh, late at night without uh, some kind of an accountability or filter are things where you're putting yourself in a place where you can find yourself um, tempted to fall. But not only is the place an issue, the time was. It, It says here, in the twilight in the evening, at the time of night, when darkness starts to come. And so this is, this is pointing out the idea that, that there are times that we're more vulnerable. Probably if he walks in front of her house in the daylight, it doesn't have the same power that it has in the evening. And so sometimes it isn't just the place, but it's also the time or the exact moment that we, that we go there. Proverbs 5, 8, uh, which we've already looked at in a sense, says, keep your way far from her. Do not go near the door of her house. So he goes near her house and he does it at a time of day that is not entirely wise. And then there's probably a reference here to the people that we hang with. He says, for I perceived among the youths. And so this naive young man is in essence going places at times and hanging around with people who don't reinforce his values. And so the way that we become susceptible to sexual mistakes, missteps in our lives is going places that aren't helpful to us, being there at times that aren't wise, and being around people who don't reinforce the values that we have. And maybe a way to think about this is just to say there are some places that you shouldn't go, not because they're wrong to go there, but because when you go there, you're vulnerable. There are some times when you should probably avoid places that otherwise might be okay, not because it's wrong to go there, but because when you're there at that time, you're vulnerable. And there are probably some people that when you spend time with, encourage you toward behaviors and choices that are ultimately destructive to you. And so it's not that being with those people is sinful, but that being with them makes you vulnerable. 
I heard a line years ago that stuck with me. And the line was, others may, you cannot. And it's just a simple reminder that says, maybe the thing in and of itself is not a bad choice. But if you want to honor God in an area of your life, you have to make some choices. And one of them is saying, I will not put myself in environments that will be, that will create vulnerability for me. Thanks for joining us here today. There's a lot of great content to explore on Orchard Hill Plus and on the Orchard Hill main feed from the weekend. Have a great day. 